Welcome to this video podcast from the International Al Jolson Society. Starting as an audio podcast in 2007, this is a look into the works and legacy of the world's greatest entertainer, Al Jolson. An unrivaled star of stage, screen, and recording, his influences are felt even today, more than 60 years after his passing. In this week's podcast, plucked from the center of the April 15th, 1948 broadcast of the Kraft Music Hall, you'll hear Al Jolson singing All Alone and Dirty Hands, Dirty Face. Levant and Jolson, of course, engage in their usual brand of tomfoolery and listen for a little political joke at the end. Oscar, that's beautiful. Really beautiful. You know, while you were playing that, I was reminded of what William Shakespeare once said. He said, music is like the patter of rain. It gets in your ears and then goes down the drain. (laughs) Shakespeare? Shakespeare said that? Yes, he said that. He must have said it very softly. I think you're the only one who heard him. I think uh, this boy's high on airwick. Now listen, Oscar. If you can spare a few notes in my key, I'd like to sing. Pretty difficult to play your key. Yeah? It's not on the piano. (laughs) But with my talent, I can do it. Try this. All alone. I'm so all alone There is no one else but you All alone by the telephone Waiting for a ring A tingling I'm all alone Every evening all alone, feeling blue, wondering where you are, and how you are, and if you good, Al, but it's kind of a sad song, isn't it? Well, that's the way life is, Oscar. Fate, you know, is a strange thing. The way it does different things with different people. That's right. Now, why was I chosen to be a pianist? Why didn't fate make you a piano player and me a singer? Well, I I guess fate had heard you sing. (laughs) But let me tell you something, Oscar. It isn't just fate. It's hard work, too. Look how many years you had to practice to become a great musician. It wasn't so hard. No? When I was five years old, my parents bought me a piano. I climbed up on the bench, put my baby hands on the keys, and began playing like this. My father looked at me with amazement, and he shouted, Oscar is only five years old, and he's playing Grieg's concerto. I must be dreaming. Then he asked me to play it again. And did you? No, I couldn't play it. Father was right. He was dreaming. (laughs) Well, I... I remember when I started, Oscar. I was two years old. And my father... (laughs) That was a nasty laugh. (laughs) I was two years old, and my father brought home a piece of music, and he said, Asa... Stay right down there on your little knees <laughs> And sing this song I said, no, Bubba <laughs> Bubba I can't sing this song He said, why? And I said, it's not old enough <laughs> Well, Oscar, today I think the song is old enough And I'm going to sing it right now 
Dirty hands, dirty face, leads the neighbors a chase. But his smile is as cute as can be. Making noise, breaking toys, always fighting the boys. But his eyes are a vision to see. And when my work is done, coming home to the setting sun, from the gate he starts to run. And then I kiss my boy. Dirty hands, dirty face, little devil, that's what they say. But to me, he's an angel of joy. I could just hear you and hear you. Honestly, that's beautiful, really beautiful. I know I kid you an awful lot. But tonight I want to tell you how I really feel about your piano playing. Oscar, it's absolutely brilliant. It contains um, plenty of body, yet it is all possessed of the, well, the utmost purity. It has a warmth, a vitality, a color with a touch of gossamer delicacy. Al, does that come from the heart? Hmm? Does that come from the heart? No, it comes from a label on a can of soup. <laughs> Gee, Al, I'm impressed. It won't be long before you'll be reading books. <laughs> Oscar, why don't you go run for vice president so we can forget you? This entire radio program is available on the website of the International Al Jolson Society, www.jolson.org. That's J-O-L-S-O-N dot O-R-G. Along with many other radio shows, Jolson recordings, video clips, and information about the world's greatest entertainer. Be sure to visit the site and listen for the next podcast. As Al Jolson said... In the words he made famous, You ain't heard nothing yet.